Now to new information in the commencement chaos for Bel Air High School. Tonight, the parties in charge are all pointing fingers at each other. NBC Local 33's Jonah Gilmore with the he said, she said that has many parents frustrated. Following Bel Air's commencement commotion, Tiller Gas with the East Baton Rouge School Board released a statement saying, in order to ensure safety, the facility management staff at BRCC temporarily delayed families and EBR staff from entering the building. But some families say they were not allowed to enter at all. Ain't nobody wait all these years to see their child to graduate and can't get in and see it. Kizzy Payton, BRCC spokesperson, shifts the blame to the Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office and says in her statement, we sincerely regret that the entry and exit of the building had to be restricted by the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office for crowd control issues. When having events of this size, we yield to the authority of the Sheriff's Office. It was very disappointing after reading comments and releases that they locked everyone out because the crowd was unruly. That was hurtful, it was offensive, and it was not true. We share their statements with the Sheriff's Office spokesperson, Casey Hicks. She says both Bear Lair and BRCC officials made the call to lock the doors. Hicks says the decision to lock the doors once the commencement started was made by the principal of Bel Air as well as the woman over the facility at BRCC, adding it was just an extra duty detail EBR deputies worked under the supervision of BRCC and the school. Still, hundreds of friends and families who were locked out and missed the chance to see their loved ones graduate say they want someone to be held responsible. And that was Jonah Gilmore reporting. BRCC's website shows the gym holds a little more than 2,700 people. Now, we reached out to the East Baton Rouge Parish School System. A spokesperson first told us no one should take the fall for the incident, and it is now in the past. Now, in the last 90 minutes, we were sent a statement saying this was a very unfortunate incident, and their hearts go out to the family.